So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the Gerarda Johanna. That's the name of the 87 year old boat. My name is Doug. I'm going to show you a lovely and, uh, well, I would say sunny, but now I'm lying. Because it's raining, so now and then. That's why I can't open up the roof. Oh, I can, but I can't close it when I'm sailing. So it's better, I think, to keep it closed. Um, if you've got anything to ask me, ask me. Otherwise, just sit back and uh, relax and enjoy the view. Defense original d'Amsterdam qui subsiste. De cette tour, on faisait jadis signe au navire qu'il pouvait partir. Beaucoup de larmes y ont coulé. C'est une grosse délice compagnie qui s'est à sa image. This wide body of water, the Oosterdok, or Eastern Dock, was originally part of the harbour. It is difficult to imagine the hustle and bustle that was prevalent here in the 17th century, with loading and unloading of the ships of the Dutch West and East India Companies, docked here, side by side. Cette grande étendue d'eau, le Oster Dock, faisait à l'origine partie du port. Il est difficile de s'imaginer qu'au XVIIe siècle, une grande activité régnait ici, tandis qu'à marée, côte à côte, les bateaux des compagnies des Indes occidentales et orientales étaient chargés et déchargés. This building is also known as the house with a thousand windows. It was built in the famous style of the Amsterdam School and was decorated with details from shipping history, including the voyages of the VOC. 
It currently serves as a very luxurious hotel. Vandaag de dag is dat wat anders. Woonschepen zijn tegenwoordig zeer geliefd. All of the houseboats are connected to all of the facilities. People are willing to pay considerable amounts for these floating houses. Amsterdam était confronté à un grand monde. As pepper was more expensive than gold at the time, the window bars were a necessity. This is also the origin of the Dutchess. This was once one of the sea locks of Amsterdam. Rembrandt once lived behind it, in the house with the window shutters. This is the Rembrandt house. En haut, à gauche du pont, se trouve une maison très inclinée. La slice water A second-hand market in Amsterdam. The market sprang up as a place to trade in the middle of the Jewish quarter of Amsterdam. The market is open from Monday through Saturday. And the smaller boats, are they made too? The little boats? Yes, yes. Kerk, die in 1614 werd gebouwd. De Zuiderkerk was de eerste protestantse kerk in Amsterdam die als zodanig gebouwd is. Deze kerk is ook vooral beroemd voor de herschrift. De eerste protestantse kerk in Amsterdam specifically built as such. De kerk is ook heel famous because of the painting by Kerk. Sur la gauche, nous voyons la Zuiderkerk ou Église du Sud, construite en 1600. Een voorgangster, een houten ophaalbrug. 1084. In some respects, this bridge is a copy of the Pont Alexandre of the Third in Paris, and it was named after its predecessor, which was a wooden drawbridge painted blue. Le blanc brun que nous voyons en face de nous et dont les piliers sont décorés de représentations inspirées par le siècle d'or néerlandais a été construit en 1884. Littéralement. Blauwbrug, ze trappen. Naam aan de nog smallere brug die hier vroeger was. De marker commemorates the even narrower bridge that was located here before that. Le markerbrug. Seven arched bridges of the Reckiers Canal in a row. Nous approchons d'un des clous de l'autre pays. À gauche, vous voyez les sept ponts. The stunning canals in the city. Nous parcourons maintenant le Reckiers Canal. Avec ses sept ponts à arches, ce canal est l'un des plus beaux canaux d'Amsterdam. To your left, you can see one of the oldest houseboats in Amsterdam. This boat has been docked at this location since 1888. The 18th century, the building served as a circus. Founded by Joseph and Oscar Carré. À droite, vous voyez le Saint-Pétersbourg. Il est maintenant abrité dans l'ancien Amstelhof, qui a servi pendant 300 ans de maison de retraite et de soins. There are synagogues on both the left and right side of the square. Autrefois, la place Jonas Daniel Meyer, tout comme la place de Waterloo que vous voyez à gauche était le cœur du quartier juif. Des synagogues se dressent à gauche et à droite de la place. Recht 
Time Park, one of the oldest parks in Amsterdam. This park is the location of the Auschwitz Memorial, dedicated to the memory of all the Jewish people who were deported to Auschwitz during World War II. Sur la droite, vous apercevez le Wertheim Park. Le Wertheim Park.